Captain's Log, Stardate 50425.1 While conducting a survey of a pre-warp civilization, the explorer has detected an unusual energy reading coming from an isolated continent. I am leading an away team down to the surface to investigate. Captain? Look at this. These carvings must predate the Federation itself. Ensign, grab a detailed scan of this wall and relay it back to the Explorer. Yes, ma'am. Let's see if we can get some answers here. What do you make of this? Looks like a pretty clear do not disturb sign. Perhaps we should listen to it. According to the tricorder, these remains are over 2,000 years old. Captain, before we go any further, I'd like to secure the area. There may be some sort of primitive traps. No or... sign of physical trauma. Perhaps they were left to guard something. Something like that. Captain! Sorry, um, it's just that I'm trying to earn a bit of respect of the crew here, and it's not very helpful for the person who got me the job is dismissing my recommendations in front of people. You have as much a right as anyone to be a part of this crew. You don't have to prove yourself to them. Just focus on doing the best job you can. Then please, let me do my job. It's definitely the source of the energy readings, but it's construction. These materials don't exist on this planet. Explorer to away team. Go ahead. The results are in, Captain. And? From what I can make out, these hieroglyphs are a warning against technology. Against technology? It seems whatever that object is fell to the planet about three years before the carvings were made. Part of the population fell under a strange influence and the whole city was thrown into chaos. Those that remained ordered all technology to be destroyed to keep the planet safe. And the object was buried in the ruins to serve as a reminder. All that innovation and advancement erased, just like that. Destroying old technology seems like a pretty desperate measure. Makes you wonder how desperate the situation really was. It's clear this device doesn't belong here. Ensure it's secure and make arrangements for it to be safely transported back to the Explorer. Yes, Captain. Captain? It's interfacing with the tricorder. I can't shut it down. Oh, wait, I don't know how, but the device is accessing the main computer. Captain, it's born. Lock them out. to my ship. We are Borg. No. No, you're not Borg. You're my son. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? This drum is not your son. Either. We are Borg. You two will become one with the Borg. Remember now, the pro. The Borg were the ones who attacked the planet. Correct. The Collective determined that the technological distinctness of species 1, 0, 3 was to be added to our own. But you underestimated their resilience. 
Resilience is irrelevant. No. No, resilience is a wonderful quality. It's what people like my son use to fight the Borg at Wolf 359. And it's what Species 103 used to defeat you. Great cost to themselves. They were foolish. They were determined to keep their individuality. So am I. Determination is irrelevant. You are already one with the Borg. What? This is your subconscious mind attempting to subvert the assimilation process. It will fail. Then you're not my son. Negative. This is the visualization you have chosen to speak for the board. I don't remember my son this way. Do I? This dialogue is irrelevant. We must re-establish our link with the collective. Species 103 must be assimilated. The Borg haven't come for you in over two centuries. What makes you so sure they'll be interested in you now? Your words do not align with established information. Accessing memory data. Well. We found your probe sitting in a cave. Defeated. Forgotten. We will re-establish our link with the Collective. Species 1, 0, 3 will be a sword. Locate a signal across subspace. It's being amplified by the main deflector dish. Any sign of the captain? Internal sensors are down. Primary systems have been rerouted and secondary systems are on emergency power. Pretty much having to push the escape pods out the launch doors. My top priority is to rescue the captain. Rescue the captain? Sir, with all due respect, the captain is gone. We've lost the ship. We need to evacuate. No, we don't. Look, you don't understand. I am the tactical officer aboard this ship. I am in command, and you will do as I say! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I missing something here, sir? Ah! Oh! Oh! What the hell is that? We need to get to command panel. Just wait. <laughs> Have my crew started a little resistance of their own? Incorrect. A feedback pulse has been delivered in the line of transmission. The main reflected issue is being disabled. The Borg? Warning. Warp core breach in 20 minutes. The Borg has designated this unit's programming inferior and fit for a simulation. They have severed my ties to the collective and wish to deactivate me. Her. Yes, and at the expense of my crew. But I am Borg. You are a prototype, a proto-Borg. Your mission failed. A lot has changed since you were last activated. The universe has evolved. So have the Borg. We will adapt. To do what? Your purpose is to assimilate other cultures into the collective. You failed to do that. So what else is there? To eliminate all those who resist. I don't 
don't know how, but whatever that Borg feedback pulse was has overloaded the main power grid and triggered a warp core breach. Reject the core. I can't. I'm locked out of the engineering subsystem. Great. Sir, if this ship explodes in orbit with our current antimatter reserve, we could take out a third of the planet below. Sir, I'm receiving communication from inside the ship. On screen. Captain. That designation no longer exists. We are Borg. And we wish to negotiate. This isn't exactly traditional Borg tactics. This vessel faces destruction in exactly 17.46 minutes. I will relinquish deflector control and you will neutralize the warp reactor breach. You will then provide me with a shuttlecraft. In exchange, your ship and its crew will not be assimilated. You're kidding, right? Why? The Borg have betrayed me and their objective. We'll give you the shuttlecraft. If you do not assimilate this planet, you leave the system Give me back the captain. Unacceptable. Then you can die here with the rest of us. Agreed. We can't trust them. You have little choice. You must comply. Okay. Sir! We've got people down on that planet now, Ensign. We're out of options. I assume you have some kind of Borg plan to eject the warp core? There is an alternative. The emergency maglock control on the external hull. You've got to be joking. It is the only alternative. Spacewalk. Spacewalk. Can you do it? Like you said, we don't have a choice. That's the core and the planet taken care of. We'll still need shields to bear the brunt of the explosion. And it's a good thing the ship has two deflector dishes. You need to talk me through reading through go. Server! Emergency power grid is fried. You'll need to physically cut the lines and then reconnect the secondary deflector to emergency power. Understood. Once you've done that, you'll need to head to deflector control to establish the field. Thought you might say that. There'll probably be an electrostatic buildup in the control system. Watch out for it. Got it. So you knew the captain before you joined the group, right? Something like that. You know the captain has a son? Had a son? Yes, he was killed at War 359. We're in training together, aboard the USS Melbourne. Forward It was lost with all hands, all but six of us. I'm sorry, that must have been a horrific experience. Passing psychiatric evaluation to get back into active service was next to impossible. No one was willing to take a chance on me. No one except the captain. Dr. Crusher, please report to the transporter room. So you feel the need to return the favour? Power lines have been cut. Rerouting to emergency power. She obviously saw that you needed help to put the past aside. And move forward. She wanted to see me have the chance to do my job. I hope, sir, that when you come face to face with the Borg, with her again, that you remember that. Me too.
Decompression cycle complete. See you on the other side. Good luck. Release deflector control like you promised. Now. We will comply. You are known to this individual. Your strengths. Your weaknesses. Then you know I will do anything to protect this ship. And it's Captain. You escaped the Borg once. That oversight will not occur a second time. Resistance is futile. Betrayal? And now, revenge. All characteristics the Borg regard as irrelevant. You've been separated from the Collective for too long. They resisted assimilation. They resisted the Borg. They must be destroyed. Half an hour ago, they were technologically distinct and worthy of assimilation. Now you are prepared to wipe out an entire civilization, and all because you failed in the eyes of the Borg. The Borg assimilate other cultures. It is my purpose. Find a new purpose. Our ship is one of exploration. It's literally in its name and my crew will not let you use it to destroy an entire civilization because of your need for revenge. Revenge is a human emotion. And yet, here you are. No wonder the ball turned their back on you. Access denied. Warp core access enabled. Initiating core ejection sequence. Deal's off. Oh, 
Oops, the cap. Borg is disabled, but she's forwarded power to the weapon system and has targeted the planet with a torpedo. Access to the abort the launch sequence. Going to invert the deflector field towards the forward tube. Hopefully that will contain the blast. Deflector controls locked. That may stop the torpedo, sir, but it'll take out at least half of the explorer's forward section. We're out of options. It's either us or the planet. Warning. Warp core breach in 10 seconds. Warning. Warp core breach in 5 seconds. is never futile. Captain's Log, Stardate 50433.6. The Proto-Borg remains have been passed on to Starfleet for further study, and extensive repairs to the Explorer have now been completed. The psychological scars, unfortunately, are lasting a little longer. Come in. You want to see me, Captain? Usually when someone receives a commendation for saving the captain, the crew, the ship, and an entire civilization from the Borg, they tend to find the time to collect it. Our Chief of Operations was certainly very excited. She deserves it. She does. And so do you. I struggled. Badly at one point. Couldn't separate my feelings from my job. Then you're human, Sam. A part of him will always be with you. As it is for me. But we carry on. To do all the things he wasn't able to do. Take it. Thank you, Captain. Thank you for rescuing me. And, do you know, I've been thinking, since you are so concerned for my welfare, I wonder, could you fetch me a pillow? Oh, and a fresh pot of tea from the replicator would be fabulous. This one's got cold. And some biscuits. 